Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Story Retold. I know a lot of you are currently busy working on the amazing puzzles that are coming up, and a lot of you are in voice chat right now with Discord. I only have a short time to recap, so I'm going to do my very best to try to get everyone up to speed as much as I possibly can. Honestly, all the credit goes to the Nancy Drew Clue Crew, especially those who are on Discord and being awake at all hours of the night, myself included, because I was feeding a baby. Anyways, um, how is the music? Is it too loud? I think it's loud for me. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. <laughs> Carly, well, she just woke up. There's two new posts. You're losing it. Hello, Hugh. Hello, Jenna. Hello, Tori. Hello, Kelly. I'm sorry to interrupt any of you guys' discussions in Discord, but you guys are doing an amazing job. I wanted to uh, go over this myself uh, for my edification and just to get caught up. So we're going to just starting back on Sunday, April 14th. A newsletter dropped uh, over the weekend and this, I'm trying to recap everything on my website. I'm a little, I'm a little bit behind. You're, okay, let me fix the music. Okay. Fix the music. Fix that. Okay. Turn my audio down. There's like four different audio settings for this stuff. All right, so I'm just trying to collect all the information to this on my web page here. Here's the newsletter. I took screen grabs. There's little pictures of uh, puzzle pieces here. It says, everyone has in each Nancy Drew game a favorite puzzle that puts others to shame. Some puzzles are coming made just for you, even a puzzle made by the Clue Crew, which I know about. Take some time soon to solve a few more to see what her interactive has in store. This didn't link to anywhere. But then, of course, we uh, highlighted the cover, the, the cover art was highlighted, the uh, posts from the past were highlighted, the merchandise, and then other typical stuff that you'd see down here. But the most important thing is this little tiny, itty bitty, you could barely see it. Oh, okay, hang on, let me just zoom in just a little bit. This little puzzle icon, excuse me about that free coupon ad, uh, this actually clicked. It was a clickable link and links to this page here, which is right here. Obviously, the site cannot be reached, but the web URL says nothing to see here. So I'm suspecting that something may be there. Replay the music. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, something might be there later. But then, but then, that was just the newsletter. That was a tease. Now, yesterday, while I was in a work meeting, Her Interactive dropped some more posts. Sneaky Her Interactive people. While I was in a work meeting, as if I had other better things to be doing. Um, okay. So anyways, this amazing post was dropped. Uh, multi-post on social media uh, with a few extra close-ups. This is the starting point right here. Brigella and Rue, in order to keep our messages private, I will only be writing a code of my own creation. If you need help with decoding, below is the new spelling of our favorite author's name. So we've got these interesting shapes here, and this is our starting point. Let's take a look at the other picture. We've got another close-up of this post-it note here with three symbols. I see a key. I see all kinds of cool stuff relating to the next game in the background. Um, call out anything if you miss, if, if I miss something, please, in chat. Or excuse me, it, uh, later after the stream, post it in the comments to let me know. Can hardly hear the music at all. Why is my, okay, so OBS is definitely having a problem with desktop audio sounds the last few weeks and I updated it too, which is annoying. Let's see if that helps. Okay. The music is back. It's fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you so much for calling that out, Hugh. I'm kind of annoyed with OBS about that because it's definitely an OBS issue. Uh, and so what I, I was actually able to solve this on my own. Uh, da, 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 not that one. Where's my page? Which page? <laughs> okay, so I tried solving it myself. Let's see if I can't get this centered here. Um, and also, you gotta be pointing this out. This is very important. A uh, big shout out to the musical people in our group, uh, our community of Her Interactive Nancy Drew fans. We're taking notes. 
notes of notes, music notes. Remember this for later. I'm not a music person. I have no idea what those stand for, but remember that. Okay, so the answer to the decoding here, um, favorite author's name, I mean, obviously Nancy Drew is our world. So the author, the pen name of the Nancy Drew books is Carolyn Keene. Um, I think the original spelling, That is the original spelling. Never mind. I'm just looking at this one. The bleh, Carolyn Keene. Anyways, I don't know why it says new spelling. Oh, new spelling. New meaning this is the coded spelling. So using these symbols translate into uh, well, these you know these all represent the letters. So I was able to figure out um, that this was a D after writing O L. And the only word I can come up with was D, so this makes the symbol a D. Did I move these around a little bit? I need to rearrange this order. So if we take a look at this, this is my finished version. It says, in Indiana's archives, secrets hide. Find those of Titusville, take them in stride. Comets hold keys, so you must follow the clues to unravel the mysteries. This is in reference to uh, Indy, Indiana, uh, who works at Her Interactive. That's her pseudonym. And today's been so hectic. I know Casey Nickerson. I'm going like 80 miles an hour. So <laughs> if I miss you guys' chat, I'm so sorry. This was a very fun puzzle. I loved it. And so this is uh, in reference to the Amateur Sleuth blog. And I'll tell you why, because I forgot to tell you something here. Can I back out? my own website maybe can I X out of this oh the buttons over here yeah no I was editing it <laughs> you post I have to scroll all the way down I gotta fix this I'm being a jerk and like keeping everything on one page why because SEO purposes Ugh. okay all right so anyways the caption in Instagram was right here so if for this, if we look at the capitalized letters, A, S, B, Amateur Sleuth Blog. So if we go to the Amateur Sleuth Blog, doo -doo 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 -doo, not that one, not that one. Oh, this is the older puzzle, or the, the, the newer post. Uh, we were supposed to do like a kind of scavenger hunt. And I put, I put, I put the, the, the trail of scavenger hunt clues right here. You need to go to the Amateur Sleuth Blog. Find in the archives of the Amateur Sleuth Blog posts back to an old post where there was one called The Secret of Titusville. And Indy, clever her, named Miss Is Palooza Time, <laughs> uh, created a little account and uh, posted on that morning comments for us to follow. The first one right here in the Secret of Titus Bell said, to find your way, the first letter's T. So write that down. Stay on the blog and find Brigella's first log. So we found Brigella's first blog post called Meet Brigella. And I've got the links all right here on my webpage. So if you want to bounce around, you can do that. Um, this is all in chronological order of things happening. Uh, so this, this post had a comment that said the second letter's B. Write that down. Now you know, to solve the puzzle, let your curiosity grow. Seek Rue's blog, where the stage was walked with grace. There lies the last piece, perfectly placed. Stage walked with grace. Rue graduates college. That was a blog post in the past. We look at the comments and we see with T, B, and now three, the puzzle's done until the next adventure has begun. So we need to remember T, B, three. We need to remember this because because if we go to the page here, the new dash Nancy Drew dash mystery page on her interactive, which is showcasing all the like latest updates, not really because it's mostly like Instagram being updated and amateur sleuth blog updating. If we go to this page, we should visit it regularly. Honestly, if we haven't been, oh, the big three TB three. That's awesome. I didn't realize that. I didn't make that connection. Southern sleuth. Thank you for sharing that. TB3, the big three. That's like our nickname that we've had for Rue Indian Brickella. 
but there's also um, Ghost, who's more in, not on the marketing team, but on another team at Her Interactive. I'm so sorry, Mullins. I hope it's because I, not because of my audio issues. All right, and but anyways, if you notice, this little icon has been frequently changing over the course of the last year, and the icon has changed now. It is now a clickable link. Clicking on it takes us to this. Let me zoom in just a little bit. This content is password protected. To view it, please enter your password below. So I believe that all this puzzle palooza-ing is going to uh, give us the full password to use to unlock this. And of course, her interactive is going to suppress, suppress, hold back all the necessary information for a complicated password because we're hackers. <laughs> At least they've been training us to be hackers, which is kind of fun. And uh, they're probably gonna drop something very exciting uh, coming soon, like soon. Anyways, so we're working on these puzzles to try to get this password. Um, suspecting TB3 might be a part of it now that we know this is an acronym for them, which is kind of amazing. Um, and so where, where does that leave us? Let me zoom back out here. Today we had a blog post and late at night, last night um, at 1234 a.m., that would be a.m. of today, which is April 16th, we had some new things drop. So let me, oh, I missed one. I'm sorry. Let me back up. Uh, was this 12 hours ago? This is from yesterday. Now, I didn't finish adding this one to my website and I need to uh, understand the explanation for this a little bit better so if you guys want to point me in the right direction feel free to do so I remember this was a community created puzzle uh, a while back uh, let's take a look so it's all like in Tino Balducci format and what you're supposed to do is pretty much answer all of these uh, form questions See, a number of times me is in your opening letter slash case file. Obviously, it's um, very important. Uh, so, Royal Tower Mystery, that's Treasure in the Royal Tower. The Blackmore Case, Black, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. The Haunting of Castle Malloy is The Screaming Banshee Mystery. And the Warnings at Waverly Academy is The Waverly Warning. So, we have to go back and actually count these items. A number of times me is in your opening letter case file. Name of your first suspect you can speak to on the case. What is the last name of the founder of the case's location? Name of food slash drink you can give someone in those games. Nancy, for the next step, you'll need to know the... Da, 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 da. Okay, so when we pull the letters, well, we'll get all the right answers in here, obviously. I haven't done that yet. My apologies. Uh, there are numbers here, and these look like the, sequen the sequence of the letters we're supposed to be putting down here. Um, can someone remind me what this last row uh, writes out? I cannot remember <laughs> what it was. I know the end answer to this whole thing. Now that you're shifting into being a real detective like yours truly, I thought you'd like this book from your favorite master detective, the Tino Balducci. Oh, thank you so much, cardboard uh, spaceship. That's right. I remember that now. Thank you for the recollection. It spells out year of the first game. So the first game for interactive, well, the first Nancy Drew game, Secrets Can Kill, released in 1998. So remember that. Note to self, do not lose this this, this time. And we have these letters right here. Um, and we also see, if we look really closely around the border here, is Morse code and correct me if I'm wrong but I do believe that it that in Morse code spells a red herring on repeat like a red herring a red herring a red herring which is kind of funny was it year of the first book I believe the end answer is like 1998 so whatever that equates to okay so I believe that this is a hint right here shifting I believe it's a, like a shift cipher of some sort. Is it a Caesar shift cipher? You were angry about that cardboard spaceship? What were you angry about? You're the first game? 
Uh, uh, Casey, I saw the AI Nancy Drew characters. I thought that was amazing. Carter posted that. So freaky, but so cool at the same time. Okay, it's a shift cipher. And what you pretty much do is you pretty much take these letters and you adjust the entire alphabet a certain number of times and match up, you know, A is now K, for example. You switch them up. You're angry about the red herring. I know, it's it's awful to be teased like that, isn't it? Um, can anyone call out what this Caesar, this, this shift cipher actually ended up revealing? Because that's another important component. Here's the close-up of the shift, the shift cipher. And it's funny that the watermark of Manette's house of design is in here. I'm wondering if that was an actual clue or if that was something that the clue crew um, put in there. Please remind me. Because Danger by Design, which is the 14th game, is has Manette's house of design in it. Oh, it said, it said left. Oh, left by one. Oh, it's a cycle shift cipher. <gasps> Turk eight. That's brilliant. So the first letter is left by one. The second is left by nine. I guess I got an icon in the way. That is very interesting. But the end result of this answer, I believe, is lock. L-O-C-K. Lock. Okay, so we need to remember lock. Did I need to refresh this page? I think I did. Who was though? Okay, there's new stuff. Oh, there's new stuff. Okay, the one that um has been uh, getting me was uh, this one, which was posted seven hours ago. I saw this a half hour after it was posted because, like I said, I was feeding a baby. Um, the letters here are capitalized in the caption as well. R E W L E O S E D and there is what is this it, it looks like a candle to me yeah it looks like a candle and we also have a ring start your Tuesday with a challenge don't miss the details can anyone highlight what these mean or have we figured that out yet because I don't think we oh oh the whole written out shift cipher says the new password is lock. Got it. I'll write that down. Thank you so much for that. Yes. And this is an anagram. The The capitalized letters here are, is an anagram for Eloise Drew or O Wise Elder. Both of those are used in Secrets Can Kill um, as, as a, uh, it's a password to the, com the library computer in the game. Uh, also... If we look at this post here, and also if you didn't catch the other music notes in the last post, that's important too. We have a puzzle box. I actually have this puzzle, my own copy of this puzzle. It's a Cobble Hill uh, puzzle of the Nancy Drew books. There's a 500 piece version and a thousand piece version. But what we have in here is little cutouts. Clearly it looks like it was cut out of paper, uh, black printed on white paper. You can see some of the white lines around these shapes. And we have cl a couple of close-ups, which is kind of confusing. I, we see a lot of different things in this picture. We see this, this bracelet. So jewelry seems to be a theme in this. Um, this, to me, looks like a bell, but someone pointed out that it looked like a candle snuffer. And actually, I think that is correct because now I can see this brightly. You can see the arm of the candle snuffer out right here along the edge because it's the handle. So you snuff out candles. We've got jewelry, we've got a key, a house key hiding right here, and I don't know that the number is important because it's covered up. And we have what looks like a passport hiding right back here. So that's what's on this page, on this post page. Here's some more music notes down here, remember that? We have the old paperback Secrets Can Kill book that the game was based on back here, which is also, seems to be alluding to the clue. Here's another jewelry piece. We have an opal uh, studded ring right here. So again, the jewelry theme. I'm wondering if a ring is more important than the whole jewelry concept as it is. 
Okay, now that goes back to that. So, <laughs> some of us late at night were trying to put these cut up pieces back together. And I was on Photoshop trying to cut it out and stuff. But thank you, Hugh, for pointing out that her interactive posted this post today. And, um, I mean, we saw this part right here, all of this, yesterday. But Indy has been updating the same post. So it's high she's now highlighting the post here, going over these, and then update it again with puzzle number two, the community-centered one. She's got all these posted. And then this one right here, it actually includes a printout, which was super helpful. Take a look at this. Puzzle Palooza, the printable puzzle pieces. So you can go ahead and print this out, download it. Um, I actually left a comment on the blog post asking, what font is this? Like an, like a crazy person who thinks that's important. Um, and so the hint right here says, Jigsaw makes four digits. Two of the digits are the same. I want to point out that, uh, blue, blue, blue. Sorry, I'm butchering your name. Uh, I think it's like, Blue Bliss or Blue Blue Bliss had the brilliant idea of m meshing the numbers together instead of being individual. And I believe it was like I'm so sorry if I'm getting the wrong people um, credited. Credited. Uh, it was like uh, I'm forgetting the names. I okay, yeah, Casey XD and Hedgehog did some great work on on piecing these numbers together and I'm going to show you on Discord which is live and active right now. Hey, let's move this over here like this. Okay. Yeah, look at this look at this great work right here. Trying to piece the numbers together like this, but having that hint from Indy certainly helped us to solidify what the actual end result would be. Look at these great ideas. I love this. And then this one was just so crisp and clean. KCXD re-angled some of the pieces together and we've got one, one, two, three. And my favorite meme, Indy replied with, got it, which is amazing. Um, you guys were all working on this together and I really appreciate this because this is amazing. So we've got one, one, two, three. Let me write that down. One, one, two, three. We've got TB three. Password is lock. TB31123 lock. We don't know which order that's going to be in, but we might need to figure that out later. So Tori, Tori, credit to Tori and our other music. I forget who the other music person is in chat. I'm so sorry. Shout out your name. Call yourselves out. If you participated in any sort of way, like I got this, please do toot your own horn. Show how awesome you guys, Blue Bliss, thank you, yes. Thank you, yes. Uh, toot your own horn, let me know who did what. I wanna do credit to whose credit due, but you guys are all working on this together. Comment in the, not the live stream here, but in the comment section of this video once it goes up later. So Tori mentioned that um, that the music notes were adding up to look like it's played Good King Wenceslas, which is an old, old music. And it has some interesting tie-ins to uh, Prague or Prague Castle. All right, now let's go on to the next post. Okay, let's see. Ring, ring, Nancy is calling. We can almost hear, I'm reading the caption right here, almost hear her say the words, I need a hint. But it has a telephone and a detective emoji here. Um, R, who, who solved this already? Oh, it was world. It spells out world. R L O W D. World. Okay, so remember world. Hey Nancy, check your email. These are the Hardy Boys. We just sent something fun over to you. I'm not seeing anything besides a black screen. Well, we couldn't make it easy. Let us know when you figure it out. Can I at least get a hint? Anything to give me a clue? No can do. Maybe try asking other sleuths, you know? Um, interesting. The background for this scene right here is from sea of darkness it's really brightened and color changed and we have this yes you are correct we are seeing a black screen we are seeing a blue a black screen um and you can barely see something 
funny, right? Here. Now, I'm going to pull up Discord because I think some people have worked really hard on this already. I'm not going to do it again. You can see um, Casey, or not Casey, uh, yeah, Casey XD shared it. Casey XD tried to show that there's something there by zooming in. And then the computer geeks and Photoshop nerds uh, got out. Hi, Hugh. <laughs> this and unblurred it or brightened it up something fierce. What did you do? What did you do to un un to, to open this? <laughs> the printout is so helpful. It, it does help. Not everybody in the Clue Crew has either a printer or Photoshop or graphic design skills that can help fix this, which is why I love how many diverse people are in the Nancy Drew community. Like, I'm super grateful that there are music people in the community because I'm not musically inclined, but I can do Photoshop. I have no time to do this, but I do Photoshop. You changed exposure and brightness and contrast hue. Awesome. Hi, Hugh. Took you about five seconds to get rid of the black. Yeah, Stephanie, I think you did it too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tori is our kazoo, Southern Sleuth. Yes, Morgan. Yes. What would we do without you, Tori? Yes. Oh, Celeb. Interesting point. You also think 1123, 1123? is kind of like the date when Secrets Can Kill released. <gasps> you could be right. Although I think that was a controversial date, but you know, it's okay if we settle on one of the controversial dates. It's cool. The way you shoved your face into your screen and squinted because you were too impatient to see what the music was missing. <laughs> the good, the section of Good King's Wrestling. Yeah, that's so funny. So we have what looks like coordinates and I don't understand what's with the green splotches here. Is that important? Is this another layer? Do they mean something? Oh, what's going on here, Hugh? Why is it not clean? Just kidding. This is probably really hard to brighten up with uh, such little pixelation and low resolution. So we have what looks to be coordinates. And I ha that's where I stopped for the day today. So I am just now getting caught up from this point. I'm just reading your chat. Yeah, when, when images, even though high-res images are uploaded, there's some compression that happens. Um, especially with like WordPress because of that. it's just it's just a feature and it's kind of hard to turn off I don't know if you can Indy I don't know if you're watching I, there might be a way to uncompress files when you're uploading maybe don't know Indy confirmed the map oh awesome so I'm gonna scroll down and see where we're at here King Winslow's world yeah Stephanie is this you Stephanie great work um Okay, drop a, pin, drop a pin on the coordinates. Brilliant hedgehog. Dropped a pin on all the coordinates on Google Maps. Do, 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 do. I agree. Here, they're making us work. So hard. Brightness composure settings. We've got more music here, which we saw. Um, thank you for typing this up. Oh my goodness, that's such a help. Uh, do, 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 do. More coordinates, thank you so much. Celeb started working on it. This is amazing. Ooh, Tori had an idea. The measure order would tell us the order the puzzle solutions need. Yeah, the measure. When you say measure, you mean the music measures, those sections of the music. So if we know what the song is supposed to sound like, could put those, could correlate the music notes to that puzzle answer. So it can put the puzzle answer in the correct order. Does that make sense? Uh, this Discord, Shelby, actually is the Nancy Drew Discord. It should be, it's the Nancy Drew Games one. It's this icon right here. It's kind of a the brownish one with the Nancy Drew Games. It's, it's her interactives Discord. And we are in the server for Mystery of the Seven Keys. That's where we're at right now. So uh, I didn't drop the link in, ch in my description, but I should do that. Do I, can I share this? I don't know. If there's anyone in chat who's able to share the link to this Discord, uh, that would be wonderful for everyone else who is not in it so that they can join. Okay, so we have some work done here. I wanna show this. B. Why is for the dot 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 dot? Uh, that was so fast. Whose name is this? I can't really tell. Thank you, Discord for... Oh. Look at all these little hearts. Destination saved, 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 saved. All over the world. 
this looks interesting. It kind of reminds me of another puzzle. Whoops. If so if we like, oh, I see it. Do you see it? It's an R on its side. T. What are these supposed to be two L's? Kind of just, no wait, there's another one. It's a T, there's another dot right here. Um, another T. And everyone was questioning RTIT, RTH, uppercase. What did we figure out? Let's take a look. Uh, we're trying to insert this password information into the password uh, page. RII, maybe? RII, RIH? It could be an H. It's a really weird looking H. <laughs> Roman numerals, maybe. Oh, like like I I is uh, Roman numeral for two. Yeah, um, let's take a look. Maybe an L R T L T. Rue said no T. Oh, interesting. Used a map plotter instead of Google because it was taking too long and you're impatient. Hedgehog, I love you. Indy confirmed R-I-I. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of discussions happening. <laughs> Let me just scroll down. And we ended with happy to please Gorf. That's hilarious. This is Gorf, the frog. Indy says we're on fire. Gorf like your, likes your map. Okay, so it is R-I-I. So that's where we are at right now. Brigella's in chat right now. Hey, Brigella, I don't know if you're in chat, but... I, Oh, is it okay? It, um, I don't know. Is that is it a public server? Thank you, Hugh, for sharing the link. I will, you know, I need to add that to my um, copy link address. I'm gonna add that. Hang on. Uh, I don't know if I can add that until later. Let me make let me make a notepad. We're gonna do Word. Hang on. I need to open up Word anyways. It is public. Okay. Thank you, Indy. Thank you, Squid. Okay, let me just post that link for later. Okay, great. So we have, let me refresh, make sure there's nothing else left. Okay, so we have, we've made it to the end. Wow. Wow, there might be more later today. I'm suspecting because they've been going crazy. Let me open up Word real quick. Okay. So what do we have? And Tori and anyone else. Oh, I should keep my microphone here so I can say hello. Oh, you have it on your YouTube videos with other socials? Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Um, Indy, is it also in the uh, the link bio? Oh, you've got, on, you've got Sprout. That's right. Yeah, that wouldn't be like a pinned. You can't pin in Sprout, can you? Something like, join the Nancy Drew Discord server. Just a thought. Just a thought. Um, okay. What was I doing? I was doing a thing. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was asking the musical order. Do we know what the musical order is of these posts? Oh, let's not put my hand in the coffee. I mean, obviously the treble clef comes first. Treble clef of the. <gasps> I have like 10 minutes. Have has any of you guys tried putting the music, the measure in order yet? You got you got the order, Carly. The clues in order of the music are. Okay. You got it. Yes, 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 yes. It's in the chat. It's in the Discord chat. Okay. I mean, I could cut it out and make a picture of it. Yeah, you did. Great. You guys are amazing. It didn't work for the password. So we must be missing more information for the password to unlock the page. Okay, so, and so we've got lock. R-I-I. 11-23. T. 
TB3. And that's in the order of... Is that correct? Does that look good? I'm suspecting so, Casey. I think we need to solve some more puzzles first because they're not gonna... They're spreading this out. So lock R2. R... Oh, lock. I wonder if something is supposed to be in between these two. Because I'm thinking... Somehow this comes to mind, like an actual tumbler lock with a dial. Everything was posted um, in, P in Pacific Standard Time. Uh, let's see, this... Um, this puzzle one right here, the jigsaw with the paper cutouts, that was posted at 12.34 a.m. this morning. Um, and then this one was posted just like an hour or so ago. Yeah. Doesn't tell me the exact time. So it must have been like 7:34. I think a 7:34 a.m. is like what had happened or something. 11:23. Do we need to focus it on that number? Anyways, th I thought this was like a rotary lock, but that's not the how the password is going to be working on the password page. We have to actually type in characters. Megan, for EST, it was 3:34 p.m. 10.34 p.m., 4.34 a.m., 10.34 a.m. Okay, so that was EST. That's awesome. You know, like, R is right, too. Lock. Locker. Lock. Re. Lock. Lock. R-I-A. One, one, two, three. T-B-3. What were the digits from the the lock on the community made puzzle post the digits which one no last night last night's puzzle squid was 12 34 a.m because i was awake at one o'clock trying to solve it because it had just posted or something Oh, you tagged me, Jessica. Thank you. Let's, uh, let me go to Discord. Who's messaging me? I don't care if it's raining today. No, thank you. Starbucks. No, thanks. I'm good. Ooh, yes, here it is. There it is. Look at that beauty. Tori and, is it Stephanie? Who's the other one? That's not me. That's me. What? Oh, thank- Oh, you're tagging me. Thank you. No credit to me. That's just a tag so I can see it. Okay. So, what we have is puzzle one is at the end. Because that's- Oh, I see. That's right. That's my seven-year-old- My seven-year-old piano lessons are starting to come back to me. This bar indicates the end of the- Of the measure. <laughs> so, puzzle one goes here. Puzzle two goes at the beginning because that's where the treble clef is. And then we have uh, solutions from puzzle four and three. Now, do we know what this sounds like? I mean, obviously we know what King Winslow's... No, we don't. Tori, can you get your piano out and play us a little bit of King Winslow's? I don't know, I can't. That's fine. I can just look up a YouTube video to hear how it's supposed to sound. But I don't know if this is all the notes that we need. Is this a complete measure? That's what I'm asking. Brilliant. So we also have the music notes. I'm gonna make that uh, make that a note. Music notes for Good King. I'm gonna butcher the name spelling. Winslow. Wins That's not how you spell it. Wins Winslaws. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways. There we go. I see you guys are all still typing. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at right now. I haven't seen any new posts at the moment, but I think we might anticipate some more in the very near future. Maybe more today, maybe more tomorrow, maybe more this week. Someone's trying to message me. Let me take a look at my messages real quick. Anyways, let me know. 
Oh, you think you have a video of you playing it on your phone on a digital keyboard? Ooh. The next part of Good King Winslow has the exact same phrase repeated, so you'd be surprised if there was more. Okay, so that's is that the full measure then? Take a look at my messages real quick. Oh, there's also the Instagram Game34 chat group. Um, if you're interested in joining that and you don't have Discord, that's another great group to participate in. E. Mullen sent me a voice message. Is that something I can even play here? Is that appropriate right now? Maybe. E. Mullins? Is it something for me or is it something for chat? Let's see. Let's see. Let me go to open a new tab. We'll bring back Instagram over here. Just okay. So let's go back to me and start games so that we can refresh pages. No. Okay. I'll keep it to myself. It's all cool. Thank you. For me only. Got it. Thank you. Um, if there are no more measures, then shouldn't the password work? Oh, here's my question for Good King Winsless. That music, which is probably amazing. <gasps> you uploaded the song to Discord and tag it. I don't know. Is that something I can play without getting dinged? Is that something I can play with your permission, Tori? Hmm, where do I have my music? Maybe. I'm just gonna wait for your approval. It's just a website, digital piano. Okay, I'm gonna pause my Mystery of the Seven Keys music soundtrack. We're gonna open up. This should work because just, uh, my settings have not changed. So here we go. Thank you, Tori. What were the lyrics to this again? It was Good King Winsless on the Feast of Stephen. Is this important? Who's Stephen? Let me hear that again. Let's try it again. Good King Winslet looked out on the Feast of Stephen. Yeah, okay, that sounds that sounds more accurate. The only time I ever heard that song was when I was listening to, like, Celtic women way back in the day when I was younger. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even. The Feast of Stephen is December 26th in the West or 1227 in the East. Blue bliss. That is very interesting. <gasps> Are those dates important? I hope not. I don't want to wait until Christmas for anything. Ugh. Okay, um, I'm going to have to get going here very soon. You guys, this is amazing work. Thank you so much for your participation and your contribution and helping each other out. <laughs> I don't know. Celtic women, yes. <laughs> Probably Maddie Jensen. Yes, I know. I love it. Um, is there anything else I'm missing before I, I head out? St. Stephen's Day is December 26, so 1226 or 1227. We should probably make a note of that just in case. Um, okay. The Feast of Stephen is 1226 or 1227. Um... <gasps> Hey, the big three, is any of this important? <laughs> or are we rabbit holing? Because this is kind of fun. <laughs> any last thoughts before I call it a day until more chaos ensues with potential puzzles later? Which, like I've said before, I'm still slowly working on... Um, edit. We should visit revisit, you know, this page. And I'm working on editing my own... I got the milk already. Oh, I should check for PAX tickets today. That's what that is all about. All right, I'm going to try to update this um, web page that I have. I need to rearrange a few things here and uh, update all of this. So be, if, if you're watching this later, um, the link to this web page is actually in the description right now 
in this video so you can take a look. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day. You're going to PAX? PAX which PAX? Squid? Because PAX East just ended. PAX West is going to be next, and I think that's going to be in... That's going to be Labor Day weekend. I am totally going to PAX if I could nab some tickets. Yes. We'll meet up. We got to meet up. Yes, PAX West. Okay, okay. Um, we're going on Saturday, so keep that in mind. If we need to meet up on a Saturday and get lunch or something, we're going to have some fun. Um, anyways, this will be updated when I can get to it. I got to get to work, like now. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Big Three, for wonderful puzzles. This has been a lot of fun. I'll see all of you guys in the next spontaneous live stream or uh, blog post or Instagram feed or in, like in Discord. Back to cleaning and packing for you, Indie Crafts. Ugh, moving is stressful. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for dropping in. <laughs>